All right. When we were children in Ocean City, there were three birthdays in a row in, in August. Ken, no. Ruth on the first day, Mary in the middle, and Kendall, who was just a year older than Ruth, than, than Pete, Bruce. Right. So for two days, Bruce was as old as Ken. Big deal. To celebrate, mother and father took us to Atlantic City all in eight years. One year we would go to the Steel Pier, the next year to the Steeplechase Pier. They both burned down sometime. These piers were wonderful because you paid your admission, you took your lunch, you were there all day, didn't have to pay any money inside, perfectly safe, and so much to do. The steel pier uh, was, uh, ha had two theaters, one was a uh, a minstrel show, and the other one was a, uh, a uh, song and dance thing. Vaudeville? Yeah, vaudeville. <laughs> there was a crazy house <laughs> where you walked into it, you never knew what you were going to step in or bump into. <clears throat> there was a museum of uh, Houdini's exploits, all of these things for free. So you went from one thing to another, had a marvelous time, Mary and I went together. So you were there all day. And late afternoon, the closing delight was at the end of the pier where they had diving horses on a platform out at the end. These poor horses had to jump into the ocean. Very exciting. Yeah. And also there was a ballroom out there, but we didn't stay for the ballroom, but it did have all the big bands from time to time. Now the steeplechase pier was all fun. The entrance was a big cloud, clown mouth, and you went into his mouth, which was a revolving barrel. So you had to walk in and walk uphill. Mother tried it. She fell down. She said it took at least three guys to get her out. <laughs> but once you're in, again, everything is for free. You don't you know, take your lunch. I don't know what we did for a beverage, just water, I guess. <laughs> and we took our Blue Surge Jim Bloomers which were big pants of pleated navy blue because they had these wonderful slides. You walked up to the ceiling and one slide was a single, single slide. You sat down on it. They provided pillows, but we had our gym bloomers. And you came down this thing and ended up in a soup bowl at the bottom. <laughs> you could do it any number of times. To get out of the soup bowl, they threw a rope over and you'd pull yourself up. The other slide was a wide one, which just came down in rivulets. Again, you walked up to the ceiling, <laughs> and this is a precursor of all the amusement park stuff these days. <laughs> and uh, the big one that just came down like that, you just slid to the bottom until you stopped. Uh, one of the other rides was a flat disc. Everybody would get on it, get in the middle and sit back to back in the middle, dig in your heels, the disc would start to spin. And you try to stay on when you were finally swept off of it. <sighs> what am I talking about? A steeplechase. Can't remember the other things, but it was a full day. 
and it was just wonderful. When we came out on the boardwalk, the Atlantic City boardwalk was just beautiful, of course, much more developed and uh, commercial than Ocean City's. After an ice cream cone or whatever, uh, we would uh, go along and watch the exhibits. It was a uh, uh, great big typewriter. And you could watch the keys bouncing up and down and making a message. And there was a uh, uh, bearing ball company. Bearing ball is that what I want? Ball and this bearing. exhibit had balls coming up, bouncing on one steel plate over to the other steel plate and out the window. It's just fascinating. And of course, all the ice cream and the popcorn. And that's about all for that chapter. Let me think of more.